Listen, the only reason why you feel like you're behind or your progress is slow is because you look around you and you compare yourself to people around you and this is stopping you within your tracks. You think the next guy's progress was quick and your one is slower, you're not sure if you're doing things right and that is just eating your confidence away. That has to stop. And how do you beat this? Because this is something that's almost intrinsic to all humans where all, every, every single person at some point in their life compares themselves to other people. I'm gonna tell you guys exactly how to build it, to stop this. When I first got started in the gym, my goal at the time was just to build around 20 or 30 pounds. Nothing too crazy for me. But at the time I was around 6'4", 6'5", I believe. 140 pounds and one thing I would always do was compare myself to everyone. I remember sitting down at the gym one time after my chest day and I was looking around the gym and I was like almost building the perfect body by looking at everyone and the kind of arms they had or legs and abs. I was like, okay, if I, if I could just have arms that look like this and legs that look like this, oh, my physique would be perfect. Here's the thing. All that did to me was just hurt my confidence because now I constantly felt like, my goodness, my progress is slow as hell. Like, how was he able to do this and, not, and I'm not able to do this and I'm working as hard. I remember this one time in particular, man, I've been going to the gym for around like four or five months and you start to see the regular people. And then you start to think to yourself like, hold on, like he's getting a lot stronger than I, than I am. Like his biceps are looking bigger than, I, than mine was. I mean, we, we kind of started around the same time. I remember seeing him four months ago. Bro, all that did to me every time was like, bro, it was like, I have to quit because maybe this gym stuff isn't working. And so at certain points, I did feel very demoralized, man. It was so bad because I had close friends I started going to the gym with. And this is when it started, to, this was when it was an absolute kicker. I remember this one time, this was back in first year of university. One of my close friends and I went down to the gym before we were about to go out, go out partying. And he must have turned up to the party now in a shirt, looking a bit like jacked and big, filling out the shirt. And one of the other guys, one of my other friends, another guy in the French group looked at me, he was like, oh, Honor, what's going on? Like, you're not making progress as much as this guy. And that war got to me, man. And my, my normal go-to would always be, ah, oh, man, you don't understand. I'm just really tall and that's why. But here's the thing. First off, I wasn't doing the things I knew I was meant to do. I was actually just, uh, so many mistakes I was making on the start of my fitness journey. But this is the thing I want you guys to understand, yeah? The only reason why I, I was able to stay motivated in some way, in as much as I did, well, I wasn't seeing the amount of progress I thought I, I deserved, was I started to track everything. Because I really understood that people are comparing my results now to maybe what the idea they had of me in the past of how I looked. And if I also subject myself to the same idea, what was bound to happen was I was just bound to quit because my body really wasn't changing that much. So I tracked everything from my workouts to my sleep, to the meals I was eating. And I was just looking for something that showed some sort of progress. If my bicep growth, sorry, if my bicep strength went up by 2 kg, I was the happiest man at the gym. I was gassed as hell. I was like, yes, let's go. That made me always feel so good. And then went from that to just tracking my ab progress because my abs just kind of responded very quickly, I'd say. And then I started to make sure that the abs were the one thing I always had. And then I was trying to see if I can gain some weight and stuff. I was just focused on those small wins. Because when you start to focus on those small wins, you almost put yourself, I think what I was trying to do at the time was, I put myself in a vacuum where I surrounded myself with the things that I was doing and I could easily pinpoint something that was, I was making progress with and that kept giving me the motivation I, I needed. And this is the kicker. That happened for a couple of years and it's been around, maybe say like four and a bit, four or five years now and Compared to every single person I was comparing myself to at the time who were close friends, yeah? At some point, they all dropped off with the gym. They weren't taking us as seriously anymore. But if I kept that mindset up when I first started, I would not get the position I am in today. And I would have let those people or let those things beat me, compare myself to them. But this is the thing. When you compare yourself to people, you're just comparing yourself to them now, today. 
No one is talking about the next five, 10 years. If you start to extrapolate and start to think to yourself, that, all right, cool, he might be ahead of me now, but that doesn't decide anything in the future. Because this is the thing, guys. Bro, if someone is beating you today at doing something, bro, life has a very funny way about doing things because the law of compound interest is a real thing. If you just keep doing the work, even if your, your results are not too rapid, bro, those small things start to add up. My progress, I think, I honestly believe that all my friends stay consistent, yeah, as much as, as consistent, consistent as I was, I think they would all beat me right now in terms of the way I look, the size, everything, they would all beat me because I don't really think my genetics are great in terms of like how quickly I build muscle or maybe just because of how tall I am and stuff because I'm 6'6 right now. But I really think if my friends all stay consistent, they would beat me. But here's the thing, when people, a lot of people tend to get complacent. Uh, because maybe the results that they want came a lot quicker and they didn't really build the habit to help them stay consistent all that stuff it could be anything but if you start to just compare yourself to yourself here's a, what this is the beauty this is what actually happens your habits change and your habits are created for success and i honestly think that was my biggest benefit that was my big that was my biggest strength because i was so focused on making progress that my whole life stay to be shaped and geared to success because here's the thing with everything you do you're constantly creating a habit you're constantly creating a routine believe me or not if you wake up every day and you check your phone that becomes a habit you keep doing it every day if that habit was something that made you one percent better or zero point zero zero one percent better and you kept doing that every single day what's bound to happen is you keep growing even if you don't feel like you deserve that growth that growth is going to come because you keep doing the same action over and over and over and over, and over again and that's how you beat this stuff man because trust me coming from someone like me that struggled so much with comparing themselves to other people because I felt like the success I wanted I wasn't seeing it it's been a couple years now and in as much as this is something I still struggle with I always remind myself to this gym situation and this is why I urge you guys right now to put yourself to start to work on your self-development journey because you learn so much about yourself like the true the true you gets revealed so when harder things come in the future you are more equipped to actually deal with this trust me like the insights i'm giving you guys right right now really change the way i view myself and the way i view my journey understand that your journey is always different it doesn't matter what the next guy where the next guy is today always think about this long term where are you going to be where is he going to be over the next couple of years because people get complacent things happen and he might be ahead of you today he might be making more money today than you he might be more jacked than you but stay consistent man and that's the only thing that can stop you find ways to win exist in a vacuum where it's just you on your goals be so focused on that goal and nothing can stop you man if you can track this you can find a way to win and that's how you build success from this listen boys Everything I share with you guys, man, are things that I hope you generally listen to and you start to put things into practice. I mean, if one of, a couple of my friends uh, from before I listen to this right now, I told you guys I was going to do this, man. One thing I was, from, one thing was sure, man, my belief in myself was always there. I would always tell them that, oh, don't worry, just give me some time, I'm going to make it work. I would always tell myself, listen, this is one thing I want you guys to understand here. Yeah. I would always tell myself back then, like, all I have to do is just stay consistent with this and keep working hard, and I know I'm going to build the body I want. I kept saying, telling them, like, listen, like, you guys might be beating me right now, but trust me, like, if I just kept grinding, like, over the next couple of years, it's going to be crazy. Because I, I knew that if I could find a way to fill out my frame, because I'm a lot taller, I was going to crush this. And just like I said, it will happen, happen. Because that belief in my head was always there. I always believed that if I can see it in my mind, I, I can make it happen. And constantly, without fail, I kept telling myself that this was possible. I started to envision who I was and how that was, who the new version of me, how I was going to build like, and how built like, and how that was make, gonna make me feel. And trust me, once you start to hold on to an idea for a long enough period of time, there's nothing, trust me, like, nothing that can stop you from getting to that goal, man. And that's a promise. So I urge you today, don't compare yourself to other people because when you do that, you give someone else the accolades that they deserve and you don't acknowledge the progress that you're making, you are only hurting yourself and that will only take away from you. Understand this and that and then you understand that successful people are the people who stay consistent, doing the little things that they can and always rewarding themselves in the best way that they can. And that's how you create long-term success. 
anyway boys that's all for now i love you all if you if you're new here subscribe like the video if you if you feel like this video has actually helped you drop a comment below that really inspires me to like keep putting out stuff for you guys and yeah if you're new here join my free school community and i'll make sure i see you guys soon lock the fuck in boys get better get big let's go